Hello folks and welcome to Tech TV. I just lifted this cow's foot, started the grinder and something happened that I was not expecting. There were sparks everywhere. This girl has a really sharp piece of steel in her front right hoof. I don't know how it got here but let's hope it hasn't got embedded in there and done this cow any harm. This is Tech TV and for loads more weird and wonderful hoof trimming videos where we try to make cows more comfortable, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Today could be the day where you join us on the journey. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of hoof trimmers. But before I go any further, I better switch off my number one fan behind me here. Because I want you to hear what I'm saying to the camera. Tom turns his fans on while I turn mine off. So just as I've got this hoof washed down, I can actually see that this cow has a piece of steel, a sharp piece of steel in her inner claw, but she also has a little nest of stones in her outer claw. So as I said at the beginning, let's hope that neither of these have caused her any harm and that we've got them in time to keep her comfortable. So I'm not actually sure, it's the end of the day here, my hoof trimming kit as you can see is getting pretty clean. So this is the second. I'm not sure how I'm actually going to get this out, but I'm going to trim this down. Here's the sharp piece of steel. Here's like a T-shape, it's like half a screw or something, I don't know what it is. And she's got a little nest of stones here. So I'm going to start with this first. Try and trim around it and then take it out with my nippers. I don't think these stones have caused any problems. That's probably the biggest one there. There's another one in beside it, but still, there's still one more there. Small little piece of gravel. There's a good result for the claw that had the stones in it. They've all trimmed out nicely and hasn't caused the cow any harm. Now it's time to check out this piece of steel and hopefully it hasn't went too deep. So obviously I try to keep a good edge of my knives and grinder but when you hit things like this it definitely does affect when the sparks are flying. Sort of that cringe moment. my nippers on that because I don't want to scrape that knife anymore. Just in case this has went in quite deep, I want to take this out as quick as I can so the cow doesn't feel it. But I need to be sure that I've got a good grip on it. And there we have it. A nail with a little steel washer around it. So one good thing is at least this cow didn't pick this foot up by the nail going directly into the hoof capsule because that would have went right through to the car end. I'm not 100% sure what the extent of the damage is. I just need to trim this down and hopefully we've got nice healthy hoof. With this cow's foot free from steel and stones, it was time to trim down with the grinder and see what we had underneath. This is all looking quite good. A little bit soft maybe, it's not actually too bad.
So this here is trimmed out. That's just a little bit of ground in dirt where the nail, the hoof grew around the nail. So that's all good. I thought it was soft earlier, but it's actually, it's fine. It's nice and healthy. The stones were in here. That's all good. So this here overall is a nice healthy foot that we've just got in time. So that's a really good ending to this story. Neither the stones nor the sharp nail had been in the cow's foot long enough to cause her any damage. So that's what we're all about. We're all about, yes, we can treat lame cows and fix them and make them better, but we're all about preventing. That little girl was in for her dry off trim, so it was a perfect time to get that before it caused her any issues. Folks, thanks for watching. All there's left for me to do is pack away these fans. They're not waterproof. Get the crush all packed up and on the fan and get her washed. All in time to do the same thing all over again tomorrow. But I probably won't find a sharp piece of steel like that. I haven't seen anything like that in ages. Take care folks and see us all on the next one.